Hello and welcome back to another video here on my channel. My name is Nev, I'm a dev and today, yeah, I want to talk about something that was new to Svalkid V2. Um, although Svalkid V2 was already out um, a few months, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's a new feature that is available in Svalkid 2. It's of course, as you read in the title properly, uh, shallow routing. And I want to combine this shallow routing with a modal, so yeah. Let me show you both components quickly. So here we have our uh, skeleton UI documentation and our Svelkit documentation. And basically the modal, this is a modal. I think you probably already know that. I use that for example in my web glacier under projects. See, this is a modal. And we want to basically implement that with this one. And in what project? Do we want to do that? We want to go ahead and to our wolf bricks. And if we go ahead and run bun dev, um, we can see that our cart is currently just a page, but we want this to change. We want actually, we want the model right here. And so how are we going to do this? So first I think we're going to implement the model. So let me close the terminal and in our layout, we can go ahead and I think we already, yeah, we already initialized the modal component. Yeah, so our cart is still, um, no, under components. Uh, our cart is currently not a component, so we need to change that. Um, let me quickly go to cart and just grab this one. Yeah, we can probably just sneak that all and delete this one. Go ahead and make a new component, so cart.svelte. Paste that in here. Now let's go to the root and place the card here. See how that looks. Yeah, our card is currently empty. Perfect. So yeah, this is basically our card. And yeah, no, so what we're gonna do is we're going to our um, layout and we're just gonna follow the instructions on our documentation. So uh, we of course first need to initialize the stores, which we already do right here. We have the modal component initialized. Now we just need to do modal store, I think, modal store. That's for the nav, so let's move the cart stuff a little bit more down here. Um, cart, and let's do const modal store is get modal store. And this modal store should be of type modal store, right? Is that correct? Yep. Now, if we have our desktop thing right here, we want to go and make this a button right here. and on click and uh, we're gonna fire up trigger cart so of course we first need to trigger our cart or yeah just um declare the function so we got const trigger cart um is equals to vo uh, we get void from that then const settings or cons s is modal settings yeah so now here we can paste in some things like so we want a component modal uh so we want type to be component. We want, um, what can we uh, provide in here? Props? I don't know. I think this is already like enough, but we of course need to provide the component right here. So component would be cart. What is component type of? Yeah. So here in component, we want to go ahead and place this object, make a ref. And then to this ref, we already imported our cart. So this will be our cart like that. Cool. So now I think um, we all we need to uh, call this modal store dot trigger and then with the S right here. Now I think if we hit that one, yeah, our card is here. Perfect. So we completed all these steps, but as you can see, the modal kind of looks a bit boring. So how can we solve that? Yeah, we just uh, go ahead into our card and export let um, classes is equals to CSS classes and then we can go ahead into our div and then just remove that one because we don't need that and put classes in here. Yeah, so right now we of course got nothing but if we go into our layout and then we have our props right here. So we have props and we have classes we can go ahead and do BG red 500 just to debug it real quick. Yep, that works. So we go ahead and do BG surface. No, actually we can remove this BG surface. We are just gonna make this a card and 
because cards are automatically styled and then we also give it a p8 yeah looks pretty sweet and we get to give it a width of modal and a height of modal and if we now go ahead and put something in the card yeah you will see that we have that one i think height modal does not even change anything oh well we just remove that let's add that to the card this one as well yeah now it's of course also responsive and yeah when it's too small the image won't show i think i configured that in my component so yeah looks pretty sweet so now what we can do next is go ahead and push our state so we want to actually use shallow routing in here so um yeah so first of all uh, i want to uh, close the modal with a little x mark up here um and we can do this with export let let modal is, is a boolean uh, so we can basically export let modal is false let's do that down here we can go ahead and do hashtag if modal we can also go ahead and do a little x mark in here so class fa solid and fa x mark um fa x dash mark is it that one? oh yeah we of course need to enable the thing so modal is true okay it's not rendering oh yeah because it's not x dash mark it's x mark so now it shows perfect so um yeah our modal is basically now true so we can do button dot btn and move that one to the end and make this little thing uh margin left auto okay it does not move it and then we're gonna wrap this in the div no i'm just gonna make the button btn div plus flex with full justify left no justify right uh no left justify end is it justify end yep so now, of course, nothing happens if we click this button. Um, we need to, of course, uh, make this logic right here. So let's move that one right here. So uh, we can do const close cart. And in here we have, we just want to get the modal store. Did we already get the modal store somewhere? Um, good. So const modal store is equals to get modal store. And right here we can do modal store dot close. And this will happen if we click on that one. Click close cart. Um, so yeah, let's try that out. Yep, works perfectly. So let's implement shallow routing. So in shallow routing, we have this little thing right here, and it's basically it's it's not really it's not so difficult to set that up. So in trigger card, we not only want to do that one, we also want to um, push state, push state, and then slash card. And we want to, yeah, this can be uh, an empty object. So now if we go ahead in here and we click that one, as you can see, we have this card right thing. But if we refresh, it doesn't work, but we're gonna implement that later. Basically, now if we make that one, we want to go ahead into our thing right here and do history dot back. So if we go with that, uh, no. If we go make that one, press that, and we see that one. Yeah, so now this is not really shallow routing by itself. For shallow routing, we also need a card route, page.svelte, and we can basically copy all of that in here. And yeah, we now have this one. We can go ahead and refresh, and we will just have this. Now let's import the card. Let's import the card. Whoops. Like that, uh, make this lang ts, 
And now let's see how everything looks. Not that bad. So classes max width of 80 view width and MX auto auto like that. So that is a bit more centered. You know what? Actually, I think 50 view width is already enough. Of course, it now shrinks down. Um, so we need to set a breakpoint. Let's do that in LG and give um, this a something margin. So margin of eight and make this large as well. So now if we go ahead and shrink that down, it will always have this sweet little margin right here. So right now we only have one issue left. So if we go ahead and press on this card and place the X mark, we will go back. But if we go ahead and do this, nothing works. And then even worse, if we go back to our card and then just um, click on that one, we won't have the state replaced. So what we can do to solve that is on modal, we can do on backdrop and then just go ahead and do history uh, back. We need to make this. Yeah, so now if we go ahead and press on the backdrop, we have this route disappearing. Yeah, really nice. So again, if we now refresh, we are here. Yeah, so last thing, we're gonna add that to our getup. So modal edit, uh, shallow routing edit. We can commit the changes, sync the changes, and go ahead and watch our build. So here, let's go into our deployment section, and it's currently building. So, nice, after 36 seconds, we can view our little project. Um, expected behavior, we can add something to the card. If we refresh now, we land right here. Yeah, works as expected, and yeah. That was it. So I hope you liked this video. Uh, this video was actually inspired by a little comment about shallow routing and I wanted to implement shallow routing anyways um, on this uh, Wolfbricks thing right here. So yeah, I am happy you viewed this video. If you liked it, give me a like and subscribe to the channel and we will see us next time. Bye.